Hey there. Um, I recently bought a MyCloud from Western Digital, and I figured I would just uh, do a quick performance review. I'm not a very techie sort of guy, but uh, I understood it to be a pretty simple thing to, to figure out, and uh, so here we go. I, I've already been working with it for a little while. I found some bugs, um, and I wanted to give a first-hand account of how it uh, was working in practice for me. So. Um, I'll start off just by going to my finder. Everything's already plugged up and, ho and hooked in. Um, and so to get to it, I go to my shared. I renamed it to my last name, MyCloud. So connect here. It's not automatic, or at least it hasn't been for me. It always takes a little while to kind of spin up and show up and become accessible, which is a little bit frustrating. So eventually it'll show up here. Still nothing. Try again. There we go. So it has, you know, a few of these are standard. They come automatically public. Smartware, which I understand is for Mac or for uh, Microsoft, although I use just use Macs. Um, and Time Machine Backup, which is just for Macs, not for Microsoft. Um, I added one for family, just to for anyone who's using it in my house, and then Andrew, which is my own personal file. So I'll go in there. You can see it takes a while. Anytime you click on a folder, for me, it takes some time before you can actually access the content of the folder. Um, I'm using a 2009 MacBook Pro, which uh, I think had an upgraded processor. I don't remember exactly. It's 2.53 uh, gigahertz, I think, and then uh, a little bit of extra RAM, too. So here, you know, I can go into my docs, and once again, it just sort of consistently takes a while to load up um, different things that uh, that I have stored on here. You know, I have my photos organized kind of haphazardly, and uh, I don't know if you can hear it, but my fan just started up because it's thinking real hard to get all this done. So here we go, a bunch of different file folders. Um, one thing that I've been doing, because uh, I found that the folders here, you know, these each of these is basically its own drive, and I loaded a bunch of stuff into the family, which was mostly photos, what I had loaded. And what I decided instead is instead of working between multiple different things, it would be easier just to work out of one. So I'm trying to put them, to transfer things from family into Andrew. So from one drive to the next. And most of what's in family now is just photos uh, for my wife and I. So I'm going to try and go into there and load, or copy, I guess, a file from the family's drive on the MyCloud to my personal drive on the MyCloud. I'm going to open up another finder window so I can drag and drop here. So once again, I'll go into my cloud. Nothing's showing up yet. i wait for this to show up. So already you can probably tell that you know going through and working with the MyCloud is a lot more cumbersome than just working with files on the hard drive itself of your own computer. Uh, I think the reviews I'd seen online and the videos I'd seen made it seem like it was just as smooth and straightforward. Um, I have not personally found that to be the case. Um, I find that it does take a lot of patience. And even now, I don't know how many minutes this video has been going, but you know, just to open up a couple folders and copy a file between them um, it's not as simple as I would like for it to be. So, 
This is still not opening up. Let's see if maybe we can get through it a different way. There we go. So I have up here is from the family folder. So I'm going to go in through Andrew. All right, you can see some of these folders have successfully copied across. Some of them have not. So what I'll do is just try and copy a new one that's not not there yet. So 037 Reading has not yet been copied. So I'll just bring that over here. This is a camera roll or something from, from a, a trip I did. So this is copying from one folder on the MyCloud to another folder on the MyCloud. They're in separate drives. Each drive is on the MyCloud. Um, I think those are virtual drives because there is only one hard drive in the MyCloud. I have a three terabyte um, product. There's also two terabyte and four terabyte available. So this is 300 megs. Um, not a terribly huge you know, set of data to copy across, but it does take some time. I'll just pull up here. here. You can see I'm on a uh, five gigahertz Wi-Fi signal through my router. I did upgrade my router because I was having so much trouble. I thought maybe my router issue, and I had an older router. Um, I got a gigabit router, but um, my computer obviously is old enough that it doesn't uh, doesn't operate at gigabit speed. I don't think. Um, that said, even with the upgraded, you know, it's running it's running pretty quick. I think I can get you know some decent speed with the um, with the Wi-Fi. But that said, with, with the MyCloud, I still find it really frustrating. Here we go. We're making some progress, but um, considering what I was expecting when I first bought the product, you know, I had high hopes. Um, it's, you know, it's still a great idea, but in terms of actually executing it, making it uh, seamless, you know, this has ended up being a pretty uh, frustrating exercise trying to get the MyCloud to work. Um, I should also add, I've been on the phone with MyCloud customer support for probably a total of about five hours. Um, spent enough time messing around with my old Linksys router, which is from around the time I bought my computer, probably 2008 or 2009. And uh, got so frustrated with that and being told, oh, it's just my router problem. So I ended up buying a new router, um, but I haven't found much improvement in my performance. You know, m maybe more, uh, very minimal, but... Uh, overall, the, the speed has stayed about where it was before. So we're about halfway through, almost halfway through copying uh, 300 megs from the MyCloud under the folder, or the drive, I guess, virtual drive, or whatever you call it, uh, family, down here to one called Andrew. These are both on the MyCloud, and copying from one to the other. I, I assume it must be going through my computer and that might be what's slowing it down so much. Um, if you know, feel free to leave a comment. I'm, once again, not claiming to be a particularly savvy computer user. I'm kind of just a run-of-the-mill guy who likes to, you know, uh, I'm using Word and, you know, Safari and not a whole lot else. So... Anyway, it's still super frustrating. Um, waiting for this blasted set of files. I don't even remember. I think it's something like, uh, we'll pull it up, how many photos it is. It 
It'll take a while. I'm just trying to see uh, how many, you know, I don't remember what camera I was using. It might have been like a Nikon um, SLR or maybe it's just, this might even just be iPhone pictures. But uh, either way, nothing that I think is too data intense. And even just retrieving the information on uh, and how many items you know are inside the file it just kind of takes forever. Um, while we're waiting for this, well, one thing that I've also found kind of frustrating is I just right clicked. Um, you know, I like to know the size of the folders and whatnot. I've had a lot of trouble getting that information to actually load. Here, I loaded up real quick. They proved me wrong. I've had a few times where I've tried to get a folder to pull up and. Uh, it just never ends up loading this information. So I'm not sure why that is. I'll see if it works on a folder from over here to a different file folder. Yeah. So I get these lines. I don't know what makes those lines show up, but it, when this happens, it doesn't actually estimate the, or doesn't uh, calculate the size of the folder. It's pretty frustrating. So I think we're probably, we've got to be rounding the corner here soon, right? So it kind of makes me feel like I'm back in the early 90s. You know, copying, we're copying you know, more than more than 100 megabytes. It was almost impossible. So here we go. We're finally getting the number, 21 items. So we're still you know, copying 21 photos. They're JPEG photos, not even raw. Um, 21 photos, and it's just taking ages to copy these across. There's, I believe, still eight items to go. Well, this is mind-numbingly slow for me to be using this product, and no amount of customer service seems to be uh, fixing this. Once again, if you have suggestions, uh, if you know I'm doing something wrong, uh, you know I'm, I'm definitely eager to try and get this to work better. I bought this product because I, I had high hopes for it, but so far it's kind of you know, I've broken my heart a few too many times. You know, and while it's doing this, I'll, I'll add, uh, you know, I'll just pull up some news or something, that my internet speeds have actually been pretty fine. Of course, my processor's probably going a thousand miles a minute right now. Let's see if we can, yeah. Yeah, here we go. Oh, I guess I just finished the thing. So, anyway, so I, it's not that I've been having any trouble with uh, internet. It's just with my cloud, where it's been going tough. So here we go. The file we just copied, 21 items. It took several minutes. Let's see if I can get the info. There we go. And now it is. See that is actually estimating, calculating the file folder size. Which I don't know. Let's see if this other one can now. No, the one from 036. It's not calculated. So, anyways, that's just one example of uh, one of the things that's kind of frustrating. Um, so I've so far I've been pretty disappointed with my MyCloud. I wanted it to work real well. I thought I had done a lot of research and. Um, felt like I was making the best choice, but uh, so far it has not really lived up to my expectations. So there you go. I'd love to hear anyone's feedback or thoughts after watching this. Sorry it was so frustratingly long, but I figured I should give you the real deal, uh, what I experience every day when I'm trying to use this product. So thanks a lot. Uh, take care.